Hey, it's Lane with Windows RT Source, your source for tips, tricks, hacks, and apps. Today we'll be taking a look at Nokia Music. Nokia Music is an excellent addition to the Windows Store and an excellent music streaming service, but how does it compare to Xbox Music? Let's take a look. Windows 8 and RT come with the Xbox Music app, which allows you to play locally stored files. And you can also pay $10 per month for unlimited access to music in their database. With Nokia Music, you can also play locally stored media. And for $4 per month, you get access to the Music Plus streaming service. Unlike Xbox Music, you do not have unrestrained access to that database. Rather, you have access only to mixes. And this way, the service is much more like Pandora. There are mixes for a couple dozen genres and recommended content, and that is updated frequently. Or you can create your own custom mixes from a selection of one, two, or three artists of your choice. This does work relatively well and relatively quickly. As we mentioned, you can play music that's stored on your hard drive or SD card. I like the horizontal layout and I like how the albums are displayed right there under the artist's name. It does save time, however I wish there was some sort of shortcut to get to artists or albums further down the alphabet. Don't even try to navigate by tracks. Loading the album art really seems to slow things down here. I really hope both Nokia and Microsoft can figure out a way to speed up browsing on lower power devices. One really unique feature here is the lyrics. While it's true that not every single song will have support for lyrics, most of the music that I tried did. The interface is easy to access and it's a great way to use up some of the Surface's large screen. Some songs even support live synced lyrics, which looks really cool and again it's just an awesome way to use up some of that extra screen space. You can buy music through the app. You can also pin mixes to your start screen and even save them for offline listening. Lastly, there's a setting that lets Nokia Music change your lock screen wallpaper to album art. Oh hey, thanks so much for joining us. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons if you did enjoy this video. We'll leave a link to winrtsource.com, which is our blog, in the description below. There you'll get access to daily content, the best apps, tips and tricks, tutorials, Check that out. Also, I want to give another shout out to our videographer. We'll leave a description to his Facebook page and the link below. <laughs>